right, so I wanted to do a quick video on wrist pain. One of the problems I just had recently today, I was benching today, and this wrist was jamming, it was hurting here. And it's red because I just did some band distraction to help reduce the pain. And what was bothering me was that when I put a lot of weight on there, I just 225, not a ton of weight, but enough to definitely put some pressure, I'll get some jamming up here in the wrist on the, uh, what is this, the medial side of the wrist, I guess, is what you would call it, the medial side. It's the medial elbow, medial wrist uh, section here, and uh, medial wrist pain, it, it jammed up, it would feel jammed up. And what I mean by that is I get to here, and it would hurt. But now it doesn't hurt because I just fixed it with a, using a band distraction. I'm going to show you how to do that. And who knows exactly how it works. Uh, one thing that was happening is there was some sort of pinching going on. Something was in the way. So what this does is kind of helps reduce the, uh, the, the increases the space. Learn this from Mobility Water from K-Star. One of the most effective things I've done. And um, kind of what I do is first you want to get some, you're, it's like you're stretching your wrist, like the, the, the forearm flexors. And then you use this band here to sort of kind of distract the forearm bone. So that way you get some pressure. And you kind of work with different angles. You can turn more in if you want. You can turn more out if you want, depending on what you want. Since my issue is right here, I'm going to put the band so that's more on the inside. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit right there, just so that I can minimize the wrist. Because that's kind of where the section I'm having trouble with is. That way I can create space there. And then what I'm going to do is simply just hold. I'll kind of go back and forth. I'll kind of make some little circular movements like this. I'll go kind of forward, side to side a little bit. Uh, I can increase the tension later by walking my head further out. Uh, and then what I'm doing too is I'm going to contract and relax. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to press down with my fingers while using my muscles of my forearm flexor. One, two, three, four, five. And relax it. One, two, three, four, five. Relax it. And that allows for a little bit more. Uh, um, Degree of, of flexibility or stretch. One, two, three, four, five. And there you go. And then I'm gonna wind it up a little bit even more. This might get off the camera a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Go back and forth. And the second part is doing the opposite direction. So distracting from this side, stretching the top of the form. And then I kind of I don't have to use the floor. You can actually just use your hand. So what I'll do is I'll just kind of stretch like this. And I'll press down like this with my opposite hand. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. Or if you want, you can put your hand on the ground like this. One, two, three, four, five. Relax. One, so I get more distraction here. This is where my area is. One, two, three, four, five. And that can kind of improve that space right in that section, and it doesn't hurt nearly as much, which is kind of cool. So I just want to show you that real quick because I was having some issues. A way I kind of did a band-aid fix when I was training, I didn't get to do this while during training, was I used a wrist strap and made it really tight, but that doesn't solve the root problem. So this is a way to kind of fix uh, the root problem. Uh, actually, this is probably not the root problem. It has more to do with my shoulder, actually, probably, but this is like the two levels down, I guess. All right, thanks for watching.